Hi friends, let's make a speaker icon. So here in Figma, you can see I have these two. Let's begin to make it. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull up the quick actions menu with Command P, Control P on Windows. I'm gonna set my nudge amount. I want my small nudge to be 0.5. Next, I'm gonna pull up that quick actions menu one more time, Command P, Control P on Windows. And I'm gonna check my snap settings. I want my snap to pixel grid, my snap to geometry, my snap to objects on. That looks good. Let's begin, press the O key and from this setting, I'm going to draw out a circle. I am holding down the shift and option keys. It's the alt key on Windows, so shift and alt to drag that circle up from the sensor. Notice this little dot here. That is the arc tool, so when I click on it, I can then pull out an arc from that circle. All of those properties are here, so it's a negative sweep of 50%. I'm also gonna change that start point and bring it over here. Next, this ratio from the sensor, I'm gonna drag it all the way out to that edge. Now that it's at the edge, I'm gonna swap the fill in the stroke. So I'm gonna press Shift X to swap the fill in the stroke. Now that this is a stroke value, I can set my black color here. And if I want to adjust the sweep, I can adjust adjust it and adjust the start point. What I'm doing here is I'm changing where those lines end up. So I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna paste that, and I'm going to hold down the shift and the option key as I scale that down to the sensor. I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna paste that one more time, and hold down the shift and the option, alt key if you're on Windows, from the sensor. So you can see I have those radiating lines from that point. I'm gonna select them all, I'm gonna hold down the shift key when selecting to select them all and I'm going to change one aspect about that stroke. I'm going to click right here in the advanced stroke menu. I'm going to change those endpoints to be round. That's going to give me the round edges on there that I like. Next what I'm going to do, draw out a little rectangle. So I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using the pixels as a guide. So I'm going to draw out a rectangle and I'm going to draw another rectangle. I'm going to press the R key and draw out another larger one. I'm going to make sure that it is censored there. Now I'm going to double click on it, select this point here and move it down. Select this point here and move it up. So you can begin to see the shape that we're creating for our speaker. Now I'm going to double click out of there. I'm going to pull back my, my design panel properties. I'm going to select both of those shapes, make them black. Now at this point I can choose how I want to style this. I'm going to select them both together. I'm going to come up here to my Boolean operations and union that selection. Now that they have been brought together, when I press shift X, you can see that I have this line here. So I can choose for it to be an outline or I can choose it to be that way. At this point too, I can also flatten it. So if I press command E, when I double click inside, it's no longer that Boolean operation. It has now been flattened. I can choose for that stroke to be put into the sensor. And even here, I can pull up the advanced stroke options and I can change the endpoint joins. If I make that round, you will see that it will take all of those points there and will make them round. Now, if I want to adjust this to be on the grid a little bit more intentionally, I can use the keyboard keys because they're moving at half points. So if I want to, I can select those two points, move that down. I can select these two points, I can move it up. So as I'm adjusting this, I'm making decisions on where I want those lines to land. So even here, I can select those two points and move that back. When I take a look back, I can see how this is looking. Now I can take this, I'm going to hold down the op option key, alt key on windows. I can drag out another variation if I want to create my filled version. I can press shift X and there we go. I get that solid object. I can select all of these and if I want to, I can make them a stroke width of two and they instantly become a little bit thicker and notice the caps are still nice and round. I can select this object here and if I want I can make those edges rounded by coming over here and adjusting the corner radius. I can move the corner radius up by 0.5 so my nudge values here are also honored. I can put it to a full one. I can bring it down to a 0.5. If I want to make this a bit more consistent I believe a 0.5 value looks pretty good and if I want to make adjustments once again on where these points land I can select them. I can move them down. I can move them across and I can start to adjust for more visual balance. I'm going to select those two
two points. I'm going to move that forward. I'm going to select this one, move it up just by one. I'm going to select this. I'm going to move it down by one. And there we go. If I want, so I can even select this whole object, move it back by two, and I can begin to make those adjustments as necessary, depending on where they're going to live as icons. So that's all we have for today. And as always, happy designing. Oh yeah. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Take care.